Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into something super useful, how to create file upload forms in JotForm. And the best part, I'll show you how to automatically send those uploaded files straight up to Google Drive. So right now I have an example of a, a, a form that you can use. You want people to upload their applications for a job. The part that we are looking for is the file upload. So let me show you how to put this file upload there. You go to the elements and then you scroll down to find file upload. Then drag it and put it below. It says cover letter there. Now there are several things that we can change to make sure that it works exactly as we want it. All you have to do is to go to the properties. First of all, is the file label. Maybe you want it to say specifically CV upload. Once you write that, as you can see, it changes here. Now people know that they have to upload their CV there. Also, you might want to put a sub label here. For example, you might want people to only upload PDF files. So this is just a label. So you can write here on the sub label, upload PDF files only. And as you can see, the instruction appears there. We go on to the options that we are given. You can limit the file size. You can say, I only want one megabyte is the maximum or 10 megabytes. In this case, let's leave it as one megabyte from zero to one megabyte. But I only want PDFs. So I'm going to delete every file type. And this part of the form will only accept PDFs. Once we do that, we go to where it says multiple. In this case, we only want a person to upload only their CV. But if we wanted them to upload multiple files, we can specify the number of files to say we want three files as the maximum number of files. The advanced there also gives us an option to change the wording that we have here. We can say browse CV. This gives an instruction to show the person what they need to click on for them to upload their CV. Hover text is only text that appears whenever we hover our mouse on it. In this case, we don't need that at this moment. So this is how you actually set up the CV upload. However, there is an extra function that then makes life easier for you to organize and to back up the information that you have. You might want to add this information into your Google Drive. So how do you do that? All you have to do is to go to settings. When you go to settings, you go to integrations. And on integrations, you choose Google Drive. You can also do the same with Dropbox but I'm just going to use Google Drive as an example. So when you click Google Drive, right now I would already authenticated my account, but when you get here for the first time, it asks you to connect to your Google Drive. It's as easy as saying connect, it asks you for your password, and then you're in. Once you do that, you need to add an action. So what is the action? First of all, you need to name the folder that information is going to be uploaded to. In my case, I'm just going to name it applications. We can also create a subfolder for each submission. In the case that a person is sending multiple documents, we might want these documents in a particular folder. So what you simply do is say on here, and then you now need to name each folder by a particular variable. You can put the submission ID, but this makes it difficult for you to identify which person it is. Now, when we're talking about this, we're talking about the naming of the folder. So you definitely see the submission ID at the first day, but I would also want to have a form field such as the name of the person. Uh, we can even have uh, the email address, phone number, but just for identification, the submission ID and the name on the folder name will help. So when someone makes a submission, notice that we are capturing these details from them, including the cover letter. We can actually ask the system to convert that into a PDF and also send it 
into that folder. So you can say default, send that submission. However, what we really want here is to be able to send the CVs as well. It is uploaded into the Google Drive. Once we do that, we click save. Now, we're going to take a look at an example that we're going to do so that you see how this all comes out in a Google Drive. So to do that, let's do a test of what we have. We're just going to fill in information of a person who's applying. I filled in information for a person we can call Tom Doe as an example and uh, the person's information. Now we want to test the CV upload. So what we do is we just click on this one and then we go to the desktop. We take the person's CV and it's uploaded. Once we do that, we click submit and that's done. If you go into my Google Drive, you'll notice that there is a folder called Applications. And if I open that, you'll notice the reference number of the submission and the name of the person. If we open, we'll see that there is the person's CV and also the submission information that we actually put through. You now know how to create seamless file upload from Jotform and automatically send those files to Google. So if this helps, hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment below if you have any questions. If you want to start using Jotform today, click my affiliate link in the description below to sign up and you will see that there's going to be a discount mentioned there. Start building your own powerful forms. Let's work smarter, not harder. See you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.